Happy Thursday, everyone. Thank you for joining me for prayer and devotion this morning. We have so many things to pray about. Um, I want to bring to you uh, those who are battling cancer. First of all, Tony Nelson received two chemo treatments yesterday. He is losing his hair now and has no energy. And we need to continue praying for him and for all these others who are currently dealing with cancer. These include Kathy Williamson, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Kay, Scott Lucia, Stephanie Thompson, Lydia, Philip Randall, Marsha Moore's friends' grandparents, Ari Bowers, Claire, Lisa Workman, Terry Adams' friend, Kathy Bloss, Chuck Lurie, Edie Percival, Tanya Schutz, Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Diane Escher, Michael Boland, Monica Harmon, Linda Fox, Hugh's wife, Del Bishop, Christy Smith, Kathy Burks, and the lady here in our community of Puxico who has stage four metastatic breast cancer. Myra, Laura Legend, and Tucker uh, all need healing from cancer. These are children who are in a struggle with cancer. Abram Page has GNA01 disorder. Abel Ray is a child suffering with PKU syndrome. Tana Lopez has spina bifida. Grady's grandson has developmental issues. Brantley and Elsie are recovering from heart surgery. And a four-year-old child in the Sampson family fell down some stairs and broke his femur and had to have surgery for that. Brother Jeff Arnold's wife is in need of a miracle. The vessels at the back of her heart have collapsed and the blood cannot flow, so the heart can't receive oxygen. Brother Arnold says if God does not choose to do a miracle and this cannot be fixed, we won't have Sister Arnold for much longer. He's thankful for everyone's prayers. The Cummins household was hit with a stomach bug yesterday. They need our prayers today. Rebecca Mitchell needs a healing touch. Whitney Clark is awaiting some test results and desires our continued prayers. Shirley Perkins has kidney issues, blood clot issues, and has a bone density test scheduled for next week. Uh, Barbara Owens is in the hospital due to an infected dialysis port. J.R. Johnson has been battling with extremely high blood pressure. Pastor Mark Wilbanks is in advanced stages of ALS. Phyllis Robinette has been back in the hospital with double pneumonia. Sue Helton Morris's brother is having issues from a severe head injury. Jim Connor and Brother Pulliam's brother both need healing of their kidneys. Brother Pulliam's brother also needs healing of cirrhosis of the liver and pancreatitis. Those who are dealing with diabetes include Tim Workman, my aunt, Emily Stanley, Terry Adams, friend Marcia, Brother Pulliam, Cheryl Lachance, myself, Charles Davis, Evie, Johnny Nelson's daughter-in-law, Rebecca, and her mother, uh, J.R. Johnson, Christian's neighbor, Natalie, and Jimmy Warren. Uh, we're also praying for Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach, who have juvenile diabetes. Uh, Jimmy Warren also needs a heart valve replacement. We're also praying for Pastor Mickey Lewis. Cheryl Lachance, Brenda's friend Melvin, and Kenny Prenzel, uh, and Mike Sappington all needing healing of heart issues. Ron Hendrickson recently had five stents placed in his heart. His kidney stopped functioning, and he has had to be put on dialysis. Also, at the same time, his wife, Carlene, has uh, had a tennis ball-sized cyst discovered that appears to be cancerous. Jennifer is recovering from a heart procedure. Jean Bowsley has... A heart procedure scheduled at the end of this month, and we're praying against fear and for his salvation. Those with back issues, Melana Cummins, Britt Moore, James Graham, Terry Adams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Charles Davis, Pam's daughter Jenny, Tammy Lawson, and Bob O. Renee needs healing of her hips and knees. Judy Coffer uh, suffers with arthritic pain. Nathan Van Ingman has surgery scheduled in June. Steve Cummins has a follow-up appointment from his recent lymph node removal surgery that's coming up at the end of this month. Michael Parrott has a nodule in his left lower lung. LaVon is on a ventilator. Michael and Grover Strasner, Kendra Ortiz, and Robbie Northup all have lung and respiratory issues as well. Marsha Moore and Melinda Cummins need healing of migraines. Leslie Sutton and Bob Perkins needing healing of shingles. Sarah Stroop. Marty DeLott and Riley March need healing of MS. Those with Parkinson's disease include my dad. Uh, he fell again yesterday and really needs prayer for steadiness on his feet. My mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, 
has not been able to attend church in, in a couple of months now and really needs a physical touch. Tim Workman and Russ also battling with Parkinson's. Olivia, Terry Adams, uh, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, Heather Spence, and Michael Parrott all need healing of stomach problems. We're praying for continued recovery for Leslie Sutton, Philip Northrup, and Eric Williams, who recently had have had surgeries uh, on their feet and legs. Megan Rackley is recovering from injuries from the Crothersville tornado. Ashley Johnson recovering from gunshot wound to the head. Brother Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington all needed prayer as they continue to recover from stroke. Other health needs we're praying about today, Charles Davis's dad, Tom Shannon, Chloe Isaac, Cheryl's family member, Mike and Tony Hodge, Devin Huff, Kevin Gossett, Meredith, Jim Johnson, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Regina Bishop, Jamie Joe Day, Lane Reasons, Wilda Morrison, Rose Brown, Judy Williams' daughter Jennifer, and Judy's sister Mary, Shirley Garner, Carmen's sister Tracy, Kristen's uncle Monty, who needs prayer for both physical and spiritual needs, J.B. Goforth, who's on hospice care, Ron Asher in a nursing home and needing strength and encouragement, and Rose Brown's granddaughter and her husband and kids are in need of a miracle today. We're praying this morning for uh, spiritual and family needs, uh, so many of those needs today that we need to uh, bring to your attention once again. Our Mingle RCF residents need your prayers. I'll be doing Bible study there today. Pray for God's blessing and favor upon that uh, gathering. Mingle Job Corps students and alumni, Regina Marlin's family, Terry Adams' children, uh, Maury needing prayer for his finances, employment, and his children, J.R. Johnson, Beulah's family, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families, Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughters, Morgan and Haley, Barbara Owens, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Carrie Jones and her family, Karen Sampson and family, Caroline Sexton's family, Alan, Marcia and Britt's family, Cheryl's family member, Josiah, Annette and Dave, Marcia's friend and her family, Pearl, Dawson, who needs continued prayers for drug addiction and mental issues. We're believing for a miracle for him. William Davies uh, suffers with alcohol addiction and health issues. Pam Davies needs strength to take care of her husband and needs spiritual strength today. We're praying for all those who need deliverance from addictions. We're praying for baby G's adoption process that has been postponed yet again. Art Chandler, Rebecca Rush has an unspoken request for a need within her family. Uh, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Judy and Mike's family, the Sappingtons, Pam Pulliam's children, Dee Dee Seeger's biological father and his family, Charles and Amber Gossett, Johnny Nelson's family, Alicia, Grace's best friend's family, and Grace's circle of friends. And also, we need to continue praying for Ukraine, praying peace and comfort for all those who have been so deeply affected by the war there, losing their livelihood, family members, um, and pushed into uh, refugee situations. Let's pray for those who are taking in refugees, for the humanitarian aid workers, and especially for our missionaries who are in that nation and around the nation of Ukraine. Our North American missionaries need your prayers today. Uh, we have a new preaching point in Gatewood, Missouri that's under the direction of Pastor Chuck Carr and led by the March family. Let's keep praying for Ryan and Tina Gustafson as they're raising up a work in Anderson, Missouri. And the Glock family in Kabul needs strength, encouragement, direction, and favor in the work there. Well, God bless each of you this morning joining us here as we prepare to go into a time of devotion. I welcome you, Carmen and Marcia, Sherman and Kristen. Um, Pam, good to see you this morning. Um, Leslie, who is reporting that she's in serious pain today and having to miss therapy and asking for extra prayers for all the children. So let's remember Leslie and the children today. It's good to see Johnny with us this morning. What a wonderful um, prayer team that we have that joins together each weekday morning right here on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. These videos are posted to YouTube as well, not live, but they are posted there usually by 9 o'clock in the morning. So make sure others know that if they don't have a Facebook account, 
they can uh, watch it via YouTube. You can send them a link uh, to watch it, and you can share these videos, and that's a big help in, in getting the word out uh, about these needs. Let's go to the word of the Lord this morning. I'm going to read to you from 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 24, verses 21 through 24. And Aramanah said, Wherefore is my lord the king come to his servant? And David said, To buy the threshing floor of thee to build an altar unto the Lord, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Aramanah said unto David, Let my lord the king take and offer up what seemeth good unto him. Behold, here be oxen for burnt sacrifice, and threshing instruments, and other instruments of the oxen for wood. All these things did Aramanah as a king, Give unto the king. And Aramana said unto the king, The Lord thy God accept thee. And the king said unto, unto Aramana, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which hath cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for fifty shekels of silver. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. As followers of Christ, we have the distinct duty to offer God our all. Whether it be our time, talent, or treasure, God has called us to offer up those things we hold dear for the sake of his kingdom. Our gift to God, as David demonstrated, should never be given out of convenience, but rather from the depths of our heart with the spirit of sacrifice. And what is a sacrifice if it is not all that we can give. Sacrifice is never easy. Sacrifice is never cheap. However, from the deepest offering of our hearts comes the greatest rewards of the kingdom of God. If you need proof of that, just ask Jesus. He gave his life as a sacrifice for the people he loved, and out of his ultimate gift came the greatest redemptive love story known to man. Just as Jesus sacrificed himself and gave all he had for us, so we must sacrifice our all for him. Each sacrifice that we make is a demonstration of our love for our God. Each gift that we offer is like a love letter to the Savior. Each of our offerings may look different, but our goal is the same, to demonstrate our love for our Creator. And so as we come to the Lord today thanking him for his ultimate sacrifice, for his ultimate demonstration of amazing love for us, Let's pray that God would give us strength to give back our all to him and pray that our sacrifice would be a sweet-smelling savor unto him, holding nothing back, surrendering our lives, our heart, our soul. We belong to the Lord today, and that's the attitude that I come this morning with to this prayer time. Let's pray together, Lord. We love and worship you. We thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice for us. And God, now we want to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which we know is just our reasonable service. Lord, we want to give you our all today. Help me not to hold anything back this morning, this day from you. Lord, to be willing to put myself out there on the line for the glory of your kingdom. Lord, to do your kingdom work today. Hallelujah. Use us today. This prayer team, God, is powerful. And I pray that you would use our prayers as they ascend to your throne this morning, that we would be used, Lord, today to be a blessing to others. Hallelujah. As we give of our time, as we give of our abilities today, we pray, God, that it would be mixed with faith and with the power of your word today, the power of your name and your blood to do this work that only you can accomplish. In the name of Jesus, we come to you today praying your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. We pray your kingdom come today. Hallelujah. We pray your kingdom would grow throughout the earth today, God. We pray today, Lord, for those who are battling cancer, that there would be miracles and deliverance for them. We know, God, that you're able to do anything. We trust in the stripes that were laid upon your back. We trust in the shed blood of Calvary today. Hallelujah. We trust in your power and your authority right now over every sickness and disease and we come on behalf of tony right now and kathy williamson dennis phelps and sylvia larimore we pray for Kay and scott lucia stephanie thompson and lydia philip randall 
Marcia Sprint's grandparents, Ari Bowers and Claire, Lisa Workman, Terry Sprint, Kathy Bloss, Chuck Lorry, Edie Percival, Tanya Schutz, Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Diane Escher, Michael Boland, Monica Harmon, Linda Fox, Hughes' wife, Del Bishop, Christy Smith, Kathy Burks, and this precious lady in our community of Puxico who has stage four metastatic breast cancer. Oh God, you are well able. There is nothing that's too difficult for you. Hallelujah. We exalt you and we thank you, God. You are the miracle working God. We thank you for the answers to our prayers right now. Oh, hallelujah. I just want to worship you, God. I want to offer up a sacrifice of praise to you right now for your presence that I feel in this prayer gathering and for the virtue that's flowing right now. Hallelujah. We pray for Myra and Jenna, for Lorelei and Tucker, these children who have been struggling against cancer for so long. God, we believe for their deliverance today. We pray for these other children who are suffering in body. Abram and Abel, Tano and Grady's grandson, Brantley and Elsie, and this four-year-old child who broke his femur. Lord, we believe for their healing this morning. We believe for Brother Jeff Arnold's wife today, for a miracle for her, Lord. We know that you're able, God. Hallelujah. We accept, God, your answer, whatever it is today. But we glorify you as the miracle worker right now. And we thank you, Lord, for your healing power. We thank you that we can come to you, Lord, and we can trust in you, Lord, for your decisions will always be right and fair and just. Hallelujah. We pray for the Cummins household today, Lord, for healing from this stomach bug. We pray for Rebecca Mitchell for a healing touch today, for Whitney Clark, Lord, that you would ease her mind and give her peace. And we pray for good results from this testing. We pray for Shirley Perkins today for healing of her kidneys healing of these blood clot situations, for her bone density test to go well next week. We pray for Barbara Owens in the hospital right now. We pray for Pastor Wilbanks today, for J.R. Johnson battling with high blood pressure, Phyllis Robinette in the hospital with double pneumonia. We pray for Sue's brother, Lord, for these issues from the severe head injury that he suffered. We pray for Jim Connor and for Brother Pulliam's brother, Lord, bleeding for healing of their kidneys. We believe for healing of the liver and pancreas today. Lord, for those uh, that are diseased right now, those that are infirmed, God, we believe for complete healing. All these who suffer with diabetes, we bring before your throne. These who suffer with heart issues today, we believe, God, for your healing touch. We pray for Ron and Carlene Hendrickson. Lord, work miracles for them right now. We pray for Jennifer as she recovers from a heart procedure. Lord, we pray for Gene Bowsley, Lord, that his heart surgery would go well. And we pray against fear, and we pray for his salvation today. We lift up those who are suffering with back pain, Tammy Lawson and Bob O, Melena Cummins and Britt Moore, James Graham, Terry Adams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Charles Davis, Pam's daughter Jenny, in Jesus' name. We pray for June Coffer for healing of arthritic pain. We pray for Renee today for healing of her hips and knees and restoration of mobility. We pray for Nathan Van Ingman that his surgery scheduled for June would go well. We pray that that cancer would never return. We pray for Brother Steve Cummins, Lord, for his follow-up appointment and for continued clearance from cancer. We pray for Michael Parrott, Lord. You see the concern that he has about this nodule in his left lower lung. We believe for healing, Lord. We pray for those with lung and respiratory issues. Touch LaVon, touch Michael and Grover Straisner, touch Kendra Ortiz and Robbie Northup today. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for Melena and Marcia for healing of migraines, for Leslie and Bob for healing of shingles. Lord, you see Leslie, Lord, the pain that she's in today. God, we pray for relief of pain, and we pray for uh, your touch for her children today, God. We pray for Sarah Stroop and Marty DeLott and Riley March for healing of MS. Those suffering with Parkinson's today, we declare healing for Russ and Tim, for Beulah, for my dad, God. We pray you would help him to be more steady on his feet today. We pray for those with stomach issues, uh, Olivia and Terry Adams, uh, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, and Regina's granddaughter, Aubrey, Heather Spence, and Michael Parrott, Lord. We believe for your touch right now. We pray for continued recovery. 
for Philip Northrop and Eric Williams, for Megan Rackley and Ashley Johnson, for Brother Huey and for Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, for Sheila and for Tina's mother. We believe for healing for Charles Davis's dad, Tom Shannon, Chloe Isaac, Cheryl's family member, Mike and Tony Hodge, Devin Huff, Kevin Gossett, Meredith, Jim Johnson, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Regina Bishop, Jamie Joe, Lane Reasons, Wilda Morrison, Rose Brown, Judy's daughter Jennifer, and Judy's sister Mary. We lift up Shirley Garner and we pray for Carmen's sister Tracy, for Kristen's uncle Monty today, for J.B. Goforth, for Ron Asher needing strength and encouragement in the nursing home today, for all those who are in long-term care facilities today, God. We pray for Rose Brown's granddaughter, for her husband and children. You see their need of a miracle today. Hallelujah. You are well able, God. Lord, move in these spiritual needs this morning. You see the needs in our families. You see the needs, Lord, among our friends and neighbors today. Lord, those that we work with. Hallelujah. Those that our children go to school with, God. We believe, Lord, today for a mighty revival. We believe for our North American missionaries. Lord, for our new work in Gatewood, Missouri. We pray for the March family and for Pastor Carr. Lord, as they develop that work. We pray for Ryan and Tina Gustafson and the work they're doing in Anderson, Missouri. We lift up the Lot family today, God, praying your help and your blessing and your favor upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray today, God, for your touch upon the Bible study at Mingo RCF. God, give me favor. Help the residents, Lord, to have understanding of your word today and to respond to it. We pray for our Job Corps students and alumni. We lift up Regina's family. We pray for Terry's children, for Maury's finances and employment, and for his children. We pray for JR's salvation, for Beulah's family, for Debbie's daughters and their families. We lift up Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughters, Morgan and Haley. Lord, that they would be saved and delivered. We pray for Barbara Owens in Jesus' name. God, move in her spiritual needs. We pray for Mark and Caitlin and Matt and Michaela, for Carrie Jones and her family, for Karen Sampson and her family, for Caroline's family. We lift up Alan. We pray for Marcia and Britt's children and granddaughter. We pray for Cheryl's family member and for Josiah, for Annette and Dave, for Marcia's friend and her family, for Pearl, for Dawson, in the name of Jesus, Lord, deliver him from addiction. Lord, touch his mind today. We believe for a miracle for him and for William Davies and for Pam Davies right now. We believe for deliverance for all those who are suffering from addiction today. We pray for baby G's adoption to go through. We lift up Art Chandler. We pray for the Rush family today, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Judy and Mike's family, for the Sappingtons. We lift up Pam Pulliam's children today. We pray for Dee Dee Sealert's biological father and his family. For Charles and Amber Gossett, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Johnny Nelson's family. We pray for Alicia and for Grace's best friend's family, for Grace's circle of friends. You see Grace's needs today and Carmen's needs right now. God, move on their behalf. and We give you praise for what you're doing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you thanks right now for all that you're doing. We pray for Ukraine, Lord. We pray, God, for your comfort and peace for those refugees and those who have lost family members. And Lord, for the devastation that's in that nation. We pray for the humanitarian aid workers and the missionaries in that nation and those in the surrounding countries that are taking in refugees. And oh, God, we pray for Europe today, for healing of that land, for great revival. In the name of Jesus, you are able. We pray for revival in Russia today. All around our world, we need spiritual breakthrough. Hallelujah. We trust, God, that you're working all things together for the good of them that love you and are called according to your purpose, for your word declares that to us. And we thank you and we receive it. And we receive all these things in the wonderful and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you today. Thank you for praying with us. I'm just enjoying uh, this praise report that Sister Judy just posted this morning uh, that her kidneys, um, the test came back showing that there's nothing to worry about. So we give praise to the Lord and uh, celebrate with Judy and her family today that good report. Uh, also, 
Kristen reports that her dad's back pain has been so much improved. He's walking about a mile this week. Isn't that wonderful? Thank the Lord for answers to prayer. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here again on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. I hope that you'll join me.